back again this is the rope from hollandphotography.com or is it .co.uk now I'll put the link on the east side when I've actually done this and also on the video as well uh, I've already unpacked it but this is the second of the unpacking we have cables oh, squeeze this one out box instructions cables more of them just open this one up we have one of them Oops. oh heck. one of them one of them these are handy little things these are really the last the last thing that lot that I had I've put on my studio light Perfect, absolutely fantastic for studio light. Box on the floor. Instructions. And two rocks. Oops. One's a transmitter and one is definitely a receiver. As you can tell, this is a receiver because it hasn't got the shoe underneath. You can't mistake it. Um, very easy to spin up and spin down. It's on and off is, well it hasn't got an on and off, but it's when it's on, is up top and then you can bring down the off, so you're on A, B or C, your channels, whichever ones you wish to use, so that's on off now. The transmitter, nice metal shoe, slightly stiffer than the receiver, double A batteries, they're not double A's, they're triple A, sorry. Easy slide in. It does have an arm button which you press and hold, and that's now on. Simple as that. Nice and light to switch off, do the same thing, and you get that flicking off. Very, very light, very nice. Let's get rid of these leads for a sec. This other stuff. Do a very quick test on camera with flash. Um, it's very hot here. I'm hot and sweaty here. Sticky. Instructions are very much like um, the Bishop. Virtually the same except this has got the rock does all the same things one thing I will be testing out out in the field is I've never done this before I actually use two cameras when you fire one the other one goes off boats leaving the arbor never done that I have done that with another uh, set of remotes and remotes that I do have and uh, it works quite well comes in handy for our nighttime photography that one and I might test these on the studio as well depending so camera set to not a lot let's get me hard let's get this card in one card one camera that's on the slick it to manual we don't want 1600 250 to a just for the sheer hell of it transmitter speed up lock and loaded camera off two second start camera on one flash there's no the one thing that it doesn't doesn't have is a stand. Most most of the other ones I had had a stand, so you could actually stand that up. But this is definitely going to be going on a tripod. That is on all the offs. Locked. On. On. One. Uh, 
TGL at the moment. Go manual. Definitely don't want one to one. One twenty eighth. Test for this button. Works. Test for the camera. Let's get that. Let's lock on something. And again. Every time. That feels great. This feels as though there's hardly any weight at all. You can see that the green lights come on to say that they're transmitting. And again. Perfect. I should be testing that. I'll go. I think I'm going to do a beach shoot with them. It's been really hot and sunny lately. Well, today it has. And I just need. Hopefully Monday, so you've got a few days away, we shall have a beach shoot. Very light, very nicely made. Don't even no notice this on the flash, that and the flash together, virtually no way. Don't know, metal bush as well, it's not plastic. The only thing that's plastic is the foot, sink cord, so that's obviously going to be synced up to a second camera and we'll do one of those tests as well I'll take the D300 out with me and we'll try out that so that's the new Rooks courtesy of Pixel well not courtesy of Pixel UK Highland Photography which you'll find on Facebook and their new website which is rather cool actually various transmitters this one's nice. That's it. That's all I've got time for. Catch you later. Bye.